All right, guys, if you're just about uh, joining me, just a little reminder to be mindful that you um, turn off your camera eventually, just a little bit of distraction for everybody else, and to uh, make sure that you're muted so that you can hear the dog barking and he's waiting for somebody around you. Take a couple of moments. Um, confessions of the yoga instructor. I've been trying all week to take a yoga class. I've been sort of auditing these classes along the way, and yesterday was the first day I could finally sit in one space, finally try to center myself. So I'm, I'm hoping that maybe just maybe if it's the music or the quiet, I just can take a couple moments. So the good idea for you might be to close your eyes when it comes to a seat. Slowly begin to make your way into the child's pose. Um, just take a couple moments before we begin to try and make yourself into your space. Child pose or control 
feet. Coming onto all four feet, you might feel that your joints are stacked, so your knees are below your hips, your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders in one line. Spread the fingers nice and wide, drop the belly, bring the gaze back, find your cow pose. As you exhale down the spine, bring your ears to your body. Moving with your breath, I'm going to encourage you to close your eyes, find your cat. Inhale, you down the spine, in towards the left. Two more times. Breath in, cow pose. Exhale. One more time. Come up. Really down the spine. Hold your control with one of your fingertips. Keep in line your ears, right with your biceps. High power up the belly is stretching. And nice and slow, just come right and flat on the palm of your hand. Walk your hands towards your knees and then turn and face you. Your shoulders a little bit roll. Let's find that gate pose. Be mindful of that call while you're left. If you're on the opposite side, you can see all the way to eventually get to the other side. So I'm just extending my right leg length this time. Maybe straight leg if it feels good for you. Let's take our pose toward the uh, computer. If you're left, the fingertips to the sky. Take a breath in. Let that left arm reach up and over. Left hand comes down to the floor. Right fingertips are going to reach to the sky. Let's do it. Put and give it a float. Taking them that way. You turn the top. Arm, bicep. Palm, face with the left side of the room. Drop the bicep and breathe. Long body extension. Take this breath in. Up. Inhale. Exhale. Right toes down. Right fingertips to the sky. Press up. And back forward. Your shoulders are rolled. Do the same thing on the other side. Left knee up. Bent knee. Maybe straight leg. Let's turn those toes toward your laptop. Fingertips to the sky. Breath in. Let's go up and over. Behind that left hip. Walk left hip. Walk left hip. Inhale. Back body stretch. Exhale. One more breath here. Up and over right hand to the floor, left fingertips to the sky, breathe. And maybe go that left leg, dropping that left bicep next to the ear, reach, breathe, inhale. Exhale, one more breath here, left toes, left knee to the up, come on up. Oh, okay, take those shoulders to roll. You're going to walk your hands forward now, curl your toes under, walk the hand a little closer to the knee, lift your knees off the mat, or come forward. So look over at the side about three, five, four, three, two, nice and slow, stretching out the legs, take the heels, come into your downward facing dog. Now right here, go ahead and keep your dog for a walk, then one, then the other. Come up on your sit toes, then show up your heels. Take some time to marinate just a little bit in that downward facing dog. Breathing. Yeah. Exhale. Breath in and breath out. On your next thing, you'll bring the gaze. Your hands come forward into your high plank, taking your shoulders out of your ear belly nice and tight. Take a breath in. Exhale, slide back around the yard. Two more times. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, slide back down the space. Last time, come forward, high plank, let's hold here, shoulders out of here, action always when we're in our hands, come down onto our knees. Pressing the mat away, gaze slightly towards the top of your mat, breathe, inhale, exhale, come up right here, slide back down, let's face the dog. And as you slide back, go ahead and walk your hands back towards your feet, keep your feet a little wider on the mat. Keep any variation of right that pose that feels right for you. Opposite hand to opposite side. Folding forward. Relaxing that neck down, maybe nodding that head yes or no. Keep that breath moving. And then maybe do something just a little bit as different. Maybe change the interlacing of the hands, or if you're ready for that chest expansion, keeping those hands behind the back as you fold forward. If your hamstrings are tight, so let's say you're bending your knees. Eventually, let's release the arms down, heavy head. And with that heavy head, allow yourself to 
slowly roll up the back of one vertebra on top of the other. And then get to the top of the shoulder roll. And reverse that shoulder roll. And then take a step to the top of your mat and your feet together to touch. Close your eyes and let's take this time to stand at attention. Take this time to do our practice. And really bring ourselves into this room and into this space. Close your eyes. Find your breath. Lengthen out those inhales and exhale. Hands come to straight, your turn, so we'll fill your back toes in. 
when you're ready to lift that leg up, coming to me your right knee, so we're going to push down the leg. Now after the elbow. Good. Now we're going to do that two more times. Okay, so we're going to do another side. Let's hold it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands, step your feet back, hold. Three, go to push ups if you like, or just slide back into downward facing dog. Breath in, breath, walking hands close to each other, breath in. Mm, breath out, inhale, left toes high, bend the knee, flex the foot, circle up, that in. Inhale, left leg high, and step that in the knee, keep the foot between your hands, fine. Same thing on the other side. Move those left toes a little further forward with this compression. And you keep the bicep to the sky. Or hands on the knee. Just find what you're going to do back to you. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands on the foot. Straighten out that front leg. Flex those toes back in. Exhale, hold it. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Left foot comes flat, hands turn the foot back, toes so curl under. We're bringing the right foot up to meet the left knee, grabbing the little standing foot on the way. The right is me. Nine feet down, half your lift. And press the knee. Inhale, the first two to that three knots. And press the head. Let's pause here. One breath in through your nose. Hold them all, exhale. Let's do it. Inhale, three to that. Exhale, three to four. Hold. Inhale, halfway lift. Gently send your hands, step your feet back. You can decide. Maybe you're going to hold your plank. Maybe you're ready for your knees. Or if you're ready for that shot around the lower down halfway. Enjoying it up dog. Or maybe some of you will go forward. The great equalizer. Down with it. Breath in. Easy breath out. Inhale, reach your right toes to the sky. Bend your knees. Keep your foot between your hands. Let's find our back knee. Keep the back toes to the under. Find your back knee. Inhale. Exhale, maybe now you're ready to do it up. Breath in. Breath out. Circle those arms, giving it a little shoulder. Come on, make it good. Move your right heel a little closer to your body. This time, I'm going to take that hand down. You can still lower the transition hands under hips, but use the momentum of your hands to lift that back and off. Yeah. Can you reach your neck, feel that? Again, modification might be to stay on the back knee. Shine back the knee to the sky, back up, raise up, shoulder raise up, down. Take a big breath in, breath out. If you're having any issues with your balance, take the feet just a little further apart, like you're on a train track. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, halfway lift. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, halfway lift. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, 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 halfway Take a breath in, hold your foot down, let it hover, maybe you can add the knee, inhale up, exhale down and hover, inhale up, I'm feeling my body right to next to it, hold, inhale, reach your mouth, exhale, let's lie on the knee for you too. Now as we transition between, maybe you can take a little break and slide in here too, if you want more of a challenge, we may have some low transition. You can have the time, reach into the front and back room, or maybe you're not in here too. Be super mindful of that front knee, not following you towards your big toe. Yeah. Set a little breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Leave the elbows in that middle finger like you mean it. And lower. Walk in. Out. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. Slide your way into the hand. Elbow my knee at the knee. Left fingertips to the sky. Keep your hands reaching down to the floor. Hold and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's turn that top cone to the right side of the room. Drop the bicep. Reach through that middle finger on the left side. Slide up the left foot. With your elbows on your knee, try not to collapse into it. Break it away. Grow longer and taller. Three. And two. Lift into your warrior two. So I can try to take even that on my knees. Put your front palm up for a little trouble. Right arm up, left arm down. Can you just imagine some kind of back? For a little bit of humor, using that left, just like you're in the way, stretching in the opposite direction, reversing your warrior. Left 
that's what we'll give for three. And two. And one. Nice and slow. You can start with your hands down, turn your front foot, sit down on your left. Put your right foot back to your left. Move for a shot on that. Hold your plank. You have to push it. You are tall. Come in. Come down that. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Back. Inhale. Let's go. Reach up nice and high. Exhale. Bend that knee. Keep your foot between your hands. Come to that knee. Take your shoulders out of your ears and just come up and back up. Be mindful of the back toe of the shoulder. Just a little bit. Keep your neck. Knee and neck. Inhale, extend it. Inhale, come back. 
for two. Remember, big breath in, travel your hand down. Step on maybe float that right leg back. Hold to your chaturanga. Hop that double hand down. Let's place some down. Breath in. Breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left toe top. Bend your knees, keep your foot between your hands. Come on, your back knee, back toe, the toe under. Keep it. Let's circle the shoulders back. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, down forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more time. Let's get it down. Hold. Shoulders, inhale, up. Exhale, breath, two. Keep a big breath in. Inhale, two. Exhale, reverse. Big breath in. Hands to the mat. Step on the baby. Float that right leg. If you move through, down dog belly. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, baby to the hand. Bend your knees. Make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, first. And let the chair from the right to the left. Shake it off. Take a breath into your nose. Roll it off. Exhale. Adding a little on to the beginning. Eventually, a little on to the end. Keep breathing. Keep moving. And you start to push your center. Relax your shoulders back and back. Wait for your heels. You want to check it right away when you toe up. So that you can bend your knees. Lose the duck watch. Lose that big sway. Try to find that little bubble for the little lower. Set your toes down. Get low and hold. Side 
straighten out your legs, fingers, toes and heels, elbows up your arms, and slowly pull forward, hands to the mat. Once your hands reach the mat, climb to the top of your mat, toes feel that right foot all the way to the edge. And then take your variation of runner's lunge. For some of you, you're back and on the mat. Some of you, you'll have your right foot rocking to the side. And then we'll clap, we're going to work it on our curvers with that block above the knee at your top. For the other, you're still working on our curvers, but the finger drop the hands a little closer than the elbows. So feel that right foot out and slowly to the chest. We'll be here for a couple of breaths. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale. Let the knee, both hands on the mat. Put your back toes under, lift your back knee off the mat, and let your knee get to the modification and secure you down. Right foot to the knee left, side point. Modification to the bottom knee. Breathe. Again, let's drop that bicep next to the ear. Bring a little rainbow bar. Okay, you close the top. Leg to three and two. Both hands to the mat. Shot along with down dog. Breath in. Breath. Inhale. Let it go. Let's try the other side. Inhale. Left toe to top. Bend your knee. Keep your foot between your hands. That knee stays off the mat. This time on the two will be doing the modification. And let's put it down and help. Remember to keep your hands in your head. I can do a little shoulder stretch today. I'm circling right hand up. Breathe in. Hold. Inhale up. Let's take a little twist. Right forward, left back. Inhale up. Exhale as you get low. Take a breath in. Line into your neck. Breathe. Inhale to touch. Exhale over. Let's hold. Transitioning to your strike pose. Feel your chest up. Circle the fingers, both the wrists, hands to the hips. Breathe. Maybe walk the heels in a little closer. You're going to move back into that back side of heart pose. You be mindful that your heart's not coming forward. Try to get that big long spine. We send your right leg to come near. Breathe. Rock and roll neck and forth side to side. Let's get your hands nice. See if your elbows are deep as high as they are. Grab onto your knee, shoulder back here, take a breath in. You're going to come to this knee, right shoulder, left knee, or the other way. It doesn't matter, we'll take both sides. Shut it on over your way to 
for me to doubt is a big job. Once you doubt a job, give that job a little walk, or you can handle it, talk to yourself. Maybe not that heavy up, maybe not that heavy up. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale. One more breath in. Let it go. Inhale, gaze with your hands. Bend your knees, make your way to the top of the door mat. Inhale, half over. And exhale. A little weight in the knees, a little bend in the knees. Two, three, four. Let me try to start. Take a breath. Take a breath in through your nose. Open up, exhale. And we'll do a little bit of balancing. I'm going to stay facing the side because there's a little balancing flow along the way. Starting nice and easy in the tree. So just start from my very first posture at the beginning of class with a little more extended attention. Looking down to the four corners of the little feet. Activating all the muscles along the way. And super important to work with three. Send your left foot. Right foot out. And let's get standing. So maybe your foot is resting on your ankle. Slide it up to the calf so it can help you with your spot. Breathe. Inhale. Relax. Nine points to your right leg on the roll to start a branch. That's the case for you, so it is. Let's all hang with our hands in front position at the heart center. Interlace the left hand. Bring that knee to center, lift up by the foot. Interlace the hands around the head and give it a little. Breath in. Exhale. Nice and slow. You transition into your warrior shape with airplane on. So if you come here, take the right toe back first and then flex the foot and lift to the back of the leg. Lift up dog to the chest. Breathe. And in the prep position, little bend in the standing leg. Reverse it. Leg up. Straighten out. Right, 
use your left hand gadget right when you're across the body. You just find how much pressure you want that left hand to have today. See if you give you a little extra adjustment to yourself. This is your self adjuster today. Using the breath, each exhale, take yourself a little deeper. And it feels good, feels good right for you. Lift your head into your gaze opposite your knees. Our knee and our right knee back to the center of the chest. Right knee goes long, left knee open nice and tight. Maybe two, three. Left arm has to come face down, right into the side. Uh, up to the top of that left arm. Left shoulder stays. Right hand down. Taking the gaze away from that left knee if that feels right for you. Close your eyes. Soften a little bit and twist. Put that in. And bring the gaze and the knee back to the center. Let's pull both knees in nice and tight. Wrap your forearms around your shin. Give them a little squeeze and lift your forehead up into your knee. Now we're going to get a tight. Let's do that again. And then you exhale. Lock them up and reach your spine. Let's do posture. Shave off the nuts. Hopefully that you all have a couple moments to get through the shave off the nuts. If not, thank you so much for joining me today. This stage of the game, I'm, I'm far ahead of my service as I usually am. Let's switch to the instrument of the stick, which is the second from the last song, or we're hiding the stick, which might be a little bit more appropriate. If you like where you're at, that's cool. If you haven't done so, I would see you close your eyes. Relax your jaw. So your tongue drop away to the roof of your mouth. Take a breath in. And exhale that breath out. Send it from your shoulders all the way to your fingertips. Let your arms be nice and heavy. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, send that breath from your hips all the way to your toes. Feel your legs heavy on you. have heard me say it so many times. Easy as supposed to do. Hardest toes to master by far, finding that stillness not just of the body, but also of the mind. Big breath here. And as you exhale, allow yourself to kind of fully surrender here in your final resting posture. Shavasana. Sit here and quiet for the last couple moments. And we'll slowly call you up.
draw our awareness back to the body. We will have the ability to stay in Shavasana for two, three, five, ten moments. And then really just lift in and enjoy. So the visions move on and continue your day. Go ahead and find those small movements and then encourage brushing your thumbs over your fingertips. It's all that's with the fingers. Point and flex the toes and the both ankles. And a full body stretch. So you kind of can be grabbing this into the side as you lay on your mat. Take a big breath in. As you open up, exhale, begin to pull your knees in towards the chest and roll to your right or left spot on that heel position to the side. And for left, putting those knees in towards the chest, making a little with your bottom arm. Taking a moment to hit your reboot button. And begin to press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Can you nice and tall on your mat and make sure you keep your eyes open as much as difficult to do? Bringing your hands to your knees, stand super tall, using your breath. Inhale, lift those shoulders all the way up, in towards your ears. Open up, exhale, come up, throw shoulders down your back. Two more times, inhale up. Open up, exhale out. One more time, lift them up. Big exhale. And then inhale, reach those thighs up to the sky, let the palms meet up and overhead. As you exhale, slowly slide that chair into your pelvis. With eyes softly closed and palms firmly pressed together, taking a moment to circle back to the beginning, the beginning of the class. Maybe you set an intention of meditation for your practice today, and if that's true for you, or how it makes your mind, you need to go and back to the next breath. Ah. You've heard me say it before, yoga means union. It's the union between your breath and your mind and your body. It's that union that's all together. But it also is the union of all of us. So although we weren't able to practice in the same room, Still are all practicing at the same time. Thank you so much for making it to your virtual practice to share this with me. Thank you for your patience as we work through the kinks. We get it almost perfect. Slowly but surely. Many thanks to Yoga Fit, Shauna and Shuck. Good Lord. How you put together in your last minute to share your yoga and your mind. Let's take all the goodness from our yoga practice today. Bringing our thumbs between our eyebrows, let's bow forward and through this practice. Namaste.